All right, guys. So um, we're going to start a new, totally new project uh, from scratch here. So you want to just make sure you've opened up something new, um, get rid of what you had before. It doesn't really matter. That was just for practice. This time we're actually going to use this to create our final product. Okay. So I've just opened up Unreal. Um, if you remember, you get these three tabs. You want to go to Blueprints. We're not going to be using any of these other things. Certainly not for for now, anyway. Um, what I'm going to use is third person. Okay, and I would recommend you all do the same thing. Um, you might want to play around with some of these other ones at some point, but again, for this project that we're all going to do together, you want to just use third person. Um, down here, so remember we used starter content before. Make sure you turn that on. You're going to want to use it. Um, it's got plenty of useful stuff in there, particularly the materials. Um, it's going to be the most important thing. It saves you making your own. And obviously give it a name uh, and a location that you want. Um, I'm just going to leave it as my project. That's it really. Create project. Okay, so once everything's loaded up, um, you know, as you've seen before, uh, you get this kind of a third person template thing um, where you can just sort of try stuff out. We're not really going to use this much. What we're actually going to do first of all is this opening level, which always opens up first. We're actually going to turn this into our menu, all right, um, which will make sense in a minute. But because we're not using this actual level or this map, it will just become our menu. Um, so that's where we're going to start. First things first, though, um, if you come down here and click on this little icon, you can see all of your folders. So you've got like geometry, the mannequin is for the character, all the starter content that we imported in. Um, two third person folders. Seems a bit unnecessary, but never mind. Third person BP, though, is the one that's got the blueprints in. So just kind of be careful when you're working on an Unreal project. You want to make sure that you've got all of your your assets and your folders and things organized properly because you're going to be referencing to them a lot in your blueprints um, and if you've lost them you can't find them you know it just gets confusing and difficult so you want to make sure everything's organized properly um, and you know in the future if you did end up going to work in like a studio like a game studio or something lots of people are going to be working collaboratively on a project so if you've got a mess of folders and things, someone's not going to be happy with you. So just get used to keeping things organized. Um, so we're going to go into Blueprints because that's where we're going to start, you know, creating this menu, which we're going to do first of all. And we need a blueprint for that. So what you want to do, first of all, is right click here somewhere. Um, and we're going to go to Blueprint class. And we need first of all from menu it is it's going to be a heads up display that's what the menu actually is um heads up display as you probably already know is kind of like where you get those overlays uh over the game screen well a menu is the same thing uh and it's not actually in this list here so we go down to all classes and do a search for it hud okay and there it is hud select that uh, and you've got this blueprint that's coming here and we're going to call it uh, main menu <clears throat> um, one thing you'll notice as well um, in terms of organization, look how things are named. It's already used in these things that are here. Um, it's referred to as like camel text, camel font, no camel text. So you, you'll you notice that the first letter of each word has a capital. So it's like camel humps. Okay, that's your kind of... Uh, standard way that you want to do things when you're naming stuff okay naming conventions or what they're called so try to stick to that um, so we've got our main menu hud you know double click it and when it loads eventually i'll try and pause my way through most of these loading screens but that one's not too bad um, double click to make that big so you get this um viewport here okay so the viewport is what you would see if you were to put this item into the game we're not really putting the object in the game it's just going to be uh, a screen so 
we don't need to do that. We're just going to go straight to the event graph. Okay. And if you remember, this is where we've been putting our blueprints. Okay. Remember when we did the, the turning the light on and off and all that kind of business? Um, it all happens in the blueprints. Okay. So we've made one here for our menu. So all this stuff, I uh, no, we don't need. So let's delete that. Uh, so you're blank. Um, that'll do for now. So just click, always click compile. Whenever it's got that cog, you want to make sure it's compiled. We don't need to do anything to this yet because we need something else before we can get started. So we close that down. Back to the editor. And back down in here. And we actually need the user interface that's going to become the HUD. So the user interface is added in here. So I've right clicked user interface widget blueprint. Okay, looks a bit different. Um, so this is going to be called main, oh, no, no spaces, menu uh, widget. <clears throat> All right. I don't actually want to go into that yet. So once you've got your two um, blueprints here, go back to your HUD one. If it comes up like this uh, and you just see your settings, uh, don't worry, there's a button up here that says Open Full Blueprint Editor, which can take you back to these guys, which we want. Okay, so all we want to put in this blueprint here is just because it's on main menu HUD, it's just something that tells the game to display the widget to the screen. Okay, because it won't do it on its own. So um, if you right click in the space, we want uh, Events Begin Play. Right, so when we begin playing, simple as that. <clears throat> what we want to happen? Well, I can have remember this one. Um, we want to display a widget. So if you search for widget, that makes sense, doesn't it? We can see this one, create widget. That's what we want. Okay, comes up with this thing called construct none. That's why it's difficult to remember that one because it doesn't actually say widget. It's just called construct. Um, that's what we want. And then what we want to happen? is we want it to um, display on the screen. Um, so add to the uh, viewport. All right, it's super simple, but we haven't told it which widget to use. So see where it says class here, grab that. And you can see the little blue square is the one we made, main menu uh, widget. That's what we want, we want. Okay, nice and simple. Begin play, add, this main menu widget to the screen. All right, click compile. Oh, got an error. Don't worry. That's uh, just needs to make sure the return value is set up. There you go. So if you ever get this error when you compile, that shows that obviously the the code or the programming language that's behind this blueprint um, has obviously got an error. If you normally if you hover over it, it tells you there what the error is. Um, it's a good way of sort of finding that out. But we know in this one we just missed out that connection. So if we push compile now, now it's a green tick. Everything's running properly. It likes the it likes the code that is behind this. Okay, it's going to close that. Um, and what we want to do is where is it? Uh, third person game mode. There it is. Okay, so we've got this start this game mode. Right, which is if you double click it, um, open the browser. Uh, doesn't really have anything in at the moment. Okay, um, well, we need to start adding to it, but we don't want to use this one, we want to use a duplicate of it. So, if you right click, duplicate that, um, we're going to call it third person menu mode. Okay. And right, I'm going to leave it there for now because then we're going to start doing something different. So just just a quick sort of introduction and a quick setup of some of our blueprints that we're going to be using. Make sure everything looks all like that and you're all good. Um, and then we move on to the next one.